Oops. Hello? Hello? Hey, Bella, how are you? Can you hear me now? Okay, good, good, yeah. The reason I'm asking is that I'm switching uh, this computer thing and uh, it's a lot of mess up, a lot of mess up. So, anyway, yeah, I'm trying to um, get a hang up for this uh, Windows 8. <laughs> Messing things up in transferring. Anyway, um, yeah, he's been trying to do that and then uh, testing those that nonsense EA. I'm trying to add different things in there. Anyway, so um, let me see if uh, it's 12 or 2. Okay. All right. Whoever's already here is here, and then others will join us uh, shortly, I guess. So how, you all, how are you all doing? <coughs> Tough week. I'm trying, um, uh, okay, uh, about that EA, uh, yeah, I'm trying to uh, incorporate a different, uh, different entry system in there, not only one, and having problem there, again, coding is my weakness, and I don't want to, you know, tell anybody to, you know, what it is, so whatever the strategies that I'm trying to use, trying to get uh, the codes myself. Uh, it, it's you know it's like a magic wave system we have is uh, uh, making an entry in uh, a move which is already started you know move starts going above the the you know the wave and then it comes and retraces back into it and then the continuation we get in but uh, you know and the other strategy is they're trying to catch the tops and bottom you know when the move starts from the bottom. Uh, you know, to get in, and then when it retraces from the top, coming back into the wave, get in there, you know, like a short, and then you know, long from the bottom, you know, different, different uh, things I'm trying to, uh, so. Uh, a friend of mine told me that, you know, just make separate for each pair, and this, and that, I said, no, no. Um, let me try to make first one universal kind of, you know, it's like different entries and this and that, and I'm going to put, you know, money management techniques there, large sizing, auto large sizing and all that, so that uh, it works on uh, each and every pair. Even if it, you know, gives a negative in a couple of pairs, but gives a lot positive in uh, other pairs and then come out with positive at the end of the week. So let's see what happens. Okay, Patrick, yeah, you probably, uh, yes, okay, Euro Yen and Pound Yen. Pound Yen, I had a long um, chart before um, set out, and it is going there for the third week, I mean third uh, third wave. But uh, Euro Yen, yeah, I, I thought that it's going to try to uh, make a turn a couple of times, but uh, it didn't. It just keep going up. So basically, it was fulfilling my old chart, <laughs> which I pointed towards 139, remember? But uh, I'm going to show you why I thought that it's going to change um, uh, the, uh, what is it, uh, index. That gives me a little, um, you know, bump this week. Okay, anyway, let's let's take, uh, take a look at this chart first because I wanted to teach, uh, uh, I tell uh, you guys that, you know, how easy it was um, but we didn't, you know, I didn't pay attention. I'm not going to say you guys didn't pay attention, <laughs> but I didn't pay attention. And I was, uh, thinking again, you know, in, in different terms, I'll tell you what it is, but, uh, it was very easy. This pound Aussie one day chart. Remember this pattern here? 
I had this one very beautifully uh, coming down all the way. I pointed to, you know, come down here, but it just came down here. So at this point, remember the chart that I, uh, in the webinar I showed that this is 100% 127 extension, and then we're going to go up from here. So we did finally, you know, nice and clean, we went up there. But the way we went there, uh, where we are now, is uh, just um, look at this chart and um, let's analyze what really happened. And uh, when I said that it's going to, you know, probably going to make a turn from 61%, uh, why? Uh, which it didn't. It, you know, it just came a little bit and then boom, again, went up. And there's a reason for that. Um, this one, if you consider uh, <coughs> like a harmonic pattern wise and all the calculation, uh, see the thing that deceived me, let me show you the trend line. See, if you only depend on one study, that is the problem. So you have to do a different study. This is a pound, pound yen chart. Where did that come from? All right, this one. Um, yen daily chart. Yen index, right? So this is the trend line coming from the bottom. And uh, here it just, you know, came down a little bit, poke into it, but it, it went back up again. It hit the trend line, right? This one, the blue one. But it came back again here, and then you can see here, big bearish candle. And that's the one that made me think that maybe we're going to be changing direction and at least come down here before going up again. Uh, this is a big level here, right? But um, as soon as I made the Euro Yen chart, <laughs> it start going up again. So uh, what happened is that sometimes if you once you have this this kind of break of a TL, then it goes back and tests the back side of it, and then drop again. But in this case, it did, and um, uh, something happened in uh, in the Europe and uh, uh, like. A, uh, first, uh, Eurozone cut the interest rate, and then Euro USD came down crashing because of that. But then over the weekend, uh, the last weekend, not this coming weekend, um, I think I heard that Markel made some kind of deal or something. You know, and uh, Euro start gaining again. And when Euro start gaining, then uh, Yen gets, you know, trash. So, again, we are going up in this Yen index. And so that's why Euro Yen, um, that was another mistake on my part that I didn't see. It's a clear, um, you know, sorry for these big nonsense things here. Because when I'm switching the charts and the templates from other computers, it's all, you know, coming a little crooked. Okay, so this was a clear bounce from the support. You can see Euro Yen daily. This is a huge level here, see? And it poked into it because of the trend line, uh, trend line broke in the index. Okay. And um, that's what I thought that maybe we're going to go up, hit the back side of it, and then drop a little more somewhere here. But no, it went up. So this is the current chart. But let's go back to our this chart okay what I want to show you that what kind of pattern is this this is a pullback of 38 percent we never touch 50 percent that's another reason that I thought maybe this is not touched uh, uh, 50 percent so it will probably go and hit 61 percent and then drop back to 23 percent line and then go up to 70 78 or 88 percent that's where I got confused. But let's go back and see the figure and how we should be trading this. Uh, this is a bearish bad pattern in the making. Was not finished at 61.8% when I quoted it, right? So let me see if I can show you. Here the chart. Okay. This is bearish bad pattern, the figure and all the calculation and, and it's like it says trade number one buy at point C, which we had here, this one, right? 
but this point B, if you consider X, A, and this is B, then B could be uh, either 50% or less, ideally 38%. 38.2% is also be making a bad pattern, right? And um, doing all these different things, yeah, you tend to forget things, right? <laughs> so I did. <laughs> Um, I was co uh, concentrating on a 50% pullback to be exact, but you know, even then 38% uh, create the point B came down, and then this bullish candle in, in on, on a short um, time frame, if you would have seen, um, you know, you would find a nice entry, a bullish entry from here, and it was a clear point C on this pattern. Let me just draw a little bit here. And uh, actually, I saw it when I was like, you know, okay, the week is ending, the mistake has been done, so you know, let it go. We will analyze it, and then next week. That's why I didn't bother. Uh, but now it's at the, maybe it'll go up a little bit more up to this area. So we'll watch it, okay. All right, so. can see now how beautifully well it should go up to 88 percent this white band okay so I'm gonna put this thing here okay so this was um, so easy to uh, to draw this pattern and and trade it right and that's why I was kind of angry with myself <laughs> that I couldn't see it <laughs> The reason, again, I tell you, I mean, I'm switching the computers and, and uh, working with these EAs, uh, uh, you know, all night long, uh, just very tiring. So um, I'm having my, uh, you know, little mistake uh, pattern here. <laughs> so uh, this is, I mean, what can I say? I mean, it was very easy here. Okay. So now, as you can see, this pattern here, B, could be 38% as well. So if it is 38% and then it dropped, around this area, 88, between 88 and 38 percent. And then it start going up. This is where we get in, you know, trade number one, buy at C, starting at C. But the most important thing, more than this, because you, you still don't know that if it, it goes up a little bit and then boom, drop again, right? So the most important trade in this pattern is the trade number two, buy the break of point B. And which was only 38%. So from 38% to 88% was a long way to go. And uh, this is uh, the bread and butter of this, I would say, this pattern. Um, here, let me see if I can uh, pull up. I don't know even if I have the template. Crown Aussie. Let's see if I have the template. Yeah, I think I have it. Okay. And let's say, for example, turn it to 50%. I mean, and this was the last time 11.4. Was we were at the bottom here, this candle, black candle. And if you're watching like this one and then the next one and then hoping that there's another one will come to the downside, 11.4 ended uh, with the little uh, wick in the bottom. So let's see on a 15-minute chart to see what happened actually on 11.4, right? You see here? So now... On a 15-minute chart, you can see clearly that it was coming down and down and down. And uh, this is your entry to the, to, to the upside after we see the point C. And after that, you know, you have 30-minute, uh, 15-minute, 5-minute, several entries, and just keep going up from there. Straight, right? That's how it is. That's how you're supposed to be trading it from the bottom. Then the break of it, it, it broke here. You can see this candle, this day broke. The other one went up. First, it came back and tested this area. 
Okay, this this level. Point B actually. Okay, tested it and then start going up. At 61.8 percent, it had a little wobble because of some kind of news or something, but then uh, it went up to fulfill the the prophecy of this figure, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so far we are uh, not exactly at 88.6%, uh, but we already poked into the 78%. And if not today, uh, see, it, it poked into the 78%, then pulls back, and then came back testing this. Again, another thing that is um, very important to see that how precise is this pattern is. If we pay attention and trade accordingly, if we find it and look at it and then start paying, uh, you know, trade it. It's one of these patterns if you have for the whole week is enough. Believe me or not, uh, you know, uh, I didn't lose anything on this pattern. But, you know, what the thing is that, you know, bothers me a lot that at least more than 200 pips on this pattern that we, uh, you know, miss. Okay. I was busy on other things, though, other other trades. But, uh, you know. But it was very easy calculated. So now you can see this A, B, C, and this from here to here, the distance should be any one of them, most likely 1.618, in between somewhere 1.618 and 2.618, right? But most likely it would be uh, 1.618. If it, in case of butterfly, you could have 2.618. But um, with the 38%, 1.618 with 50 percent maybe 127 only okay but if you go back and see here I put this tool here see a B and C and then it went up and it kissed the line 1.618 161.8 same thing just below 88 percent okay so and, and it came back to test what 127 level. It is testing 127 level, also this level here. It's just been playing out very nicely, this one. Actually, this pattern is very calculated. It is, you know, my mistake that we, I didn't see. Otherwise, it is, it is going perfectly by the calculation. So I'm going to make up, in, uh, hopefully, next week for the mistake this week. <laughs> Need a couple of uh, hundred or maybe two, three hundred out of this pattern. Okay, so let's see. It's gonna probably gonna uh, bounce back from here if it doesn't break this trend line, small trend line. If you um, draw one here, okay. As long as it stays above this, oops. Okay, we can still go up, uh, touch this uh, white band, and then drop if we drop. So we will see what happens, but. Um, yeah, like I said, this this is a very bad pattern, and bad pattern you should all have it. If don't, then uh, you know, like Gertley, bad butterfly. These are the three major patterns that I use. Uh, uh, you know, there are a lot more, but uh, to me they're not reliable, or actually they are like a retracement patterns, which I don't like. This is not a retracement pattern. The retracement was this BC lag. This is wave 1, 2, and 1.618 is wave 3, usually. Uh, I have not, um, in this computer, I don't have those um, Elliott wave thing, I guess, uh, transfer yet, which I will later over the weekend. But uh, uh, if you remember, if you have the charts, uh, Elliott wave chart, you can just you know, look at it. It's wave 1, 2, and wave 3. Calculation is that wave 3 is 1.618 of wave 1. And that is exactly what we have here, 1.618, right? So this pattern, there's uh, some patterns are like uh, crap um, and um, what else there was? Um, um, I don't know. I forgot the name. But they're, they're like a pullback for the wave 4. So wave 4, if I see it, it maybe just could be uh, uh, back to this white level here. Uh, if it is. Uh, an impulse wave, so we have to be, you know, even if it's, it goes up here 88% and then start dropping, uh, we got to watch out this level here very, you know, closely. This would be what? At the white level. Uh, th see, this is exactly 38%. 
Okay, so it is that coming exactly at 38 percent. If we hit that white band at 88 percent and then start dropping, so we have to. That would be a fourth wave, and that is Elliott wave calculation. That fourth wave should be 38 percent of wave three. If this is wave three, then we will drop for fourth wave, and then go up again for the fifth wave, maybe matching this high or this high. So that would be one, two, three, and then four, and then five. Just like uh, I don't have a chart again here, but if you remember my uh, fancy looking chart for USD yen, four hour chart, that colorful chart where I had the wave and it, it actually did exactly five waves, exactly the way I had it. Uh, only uh, problem was in that chart is uh, uh, the NFP messed up a little bit, right? It went back down. Uh, crashing and then went up again on NFP. The day before NFP it went down and then NFP took it up again. Then we finished the wave three, then it dropped for wave four and then we went up. Now right now I think we are uh, finishing wave five. Very close. Okay. So that will also uh, retrace next week. Well, which I will uh, make the charts uh, later on um, and, and send out. So yes, this is, um, if you can see that, you know, if if you master these uh, mumbo jumbo here, you know, sort of calculating and uh, and then pay attention because my attention is divided in different places. I'm not only doing webinars here, but I do webinars for several other groups, small groups individually, um, different topics. So that and then plus, uh, you know, uh, trading and then trying to make EA. And uh, I started to make one EA for my Magic Wave strategy, but. As I'm learning, I'm getting more excited. <laughs> now I got like four or five different strategies. While I was making it, you know, I found out and I learned some different um, codes. And uh, they are coming together. So, you know, more and more uh, uh, learning and then more and more uh, EAs uh, are in construction right now. <laughs> so uh, I have a few separate which are, you know, sometimes they do good, but in some pairs they are backfiring. So um, trying to put all those three or four together in one so that um, even if you have, uh, you know, negative trades a little bit, but the positives are way more and way bigger to overcome those negative, and then at the end of the day, it gives you positive figure. So I'm trying to incorporate all of those uh, in one year, okay, instead of having four or five different, and each pair has different, you know, it's going to be a mess. Uh, that, you know, already done, and but I want to make it, you know, a good one. So once it's done, then hopefully I'm, I'm thinking that before the end of this year. Um, and the next year would be, uh, I, I want to be on the vacations, tell you that. <laughs> enough is enough. When I have my year running and everybody connected to that, and, you know, once or twice a week, I just do the webinar teaching, you know, this and that. But, you know, that, that year run and then we can sleep, uh, good night's sleep. Anyway, so this is the pattern. And uh, now you can see how easy it was, how beautiful pattern it is. And it was going for the target. I didn't see the target um, according to the, I just told you. So uh, it is always good to be by the book. Okay, if it's a 30%, mark it as B, it's come down between A and B and watch it for which way it is breaking. It's breaking this way, then it is coming for A, B is equal to C, D to the downside. As I uh, had uh, planned originally that this thing is going to go all the way down here, but it didn't. Things change, fundamental changes, and the direction changes. So it was also perfect, you know, it's like 100%. Uh, channel here before it start turning a b is equal to c d hundred percent at exactly at one point six one eight so we made the turn and now instead of a correction it looks like that we're probably gonna make an impulse wave here impulse wave is always in the direction of the bigger trend so if we have one two three then we probably come going to four five then a b c correction here and then move forward again to the upside Okay, so this is how it is. But sometimes this is this could be wave C. It's maybe like A, B, C. Uh, if it is A, well, I don't want to get involved. That is messed up. <clears throat> so this is how this pattern is. Any question or anything on this one? Before I move on to uh, show you the 
US dollar index or other things. A little bit here there. Okay, no question. So everybody's learning good, huh? Very nice. All right, so let's go and take a look at the US dollar index. Um, let me go and show you this uh, Euro Yen uh, Yen index anyway. What is do this one is doing? If you remember, we were following this turn, uh, this triangle, okay, perfectly. We started from D, and then it came E, then we have one, then we have two, and we've been trained. But this little wobble here, it's usually um, again. I don't have the wave uh, chart here. Let's see. If I, this is um, no, I don't have it. Okay, but this one, um, wave uh, three is the biggest wave in Elliott wave, uh, uh, five wave pattern. One, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, four, five. So the wave three, since it's very big, it's 1.618 of wave one, it also have subwaves, five subwaves in it. Same pattern, one, two, three, four, five. So this could be because it looks like it, what it is, it's wave one, two, then if you can see the wave three has five wave in it, and out of that, this wave one, and then this ABC correction wave two is finished here. And now we are going up, and if we take out these highs, then we are definitely going to this one, definitely. Uh, today is Friday, so we are probably going to hold on this one till the next week. So if this is going as just one, two, three, out of this three, okay, A, B, C, I mean, sorry, one, two, three. So this is the third wave, this blue count, and that third wave will also have five waves out of that. One and two are finished, so this could be you, what, how you say it, you say it as a third of a third, okay. So we are maybe in a third of a third because the characteristic is also same. It's like nice bullish one after the other and it's gaining momentum the way I see it now we broke this trend line as well ha ah, okay is, is the sound coming now man Oh, okay. All right. So uh, this is uh, the third of a third is the most powerful wave. Okay. So if that's what it is, because it already broke this uh, sloping blue triangle teal. Okay. So we're going to have to take out this one, which already did. This one we are at right now. We take this one out. The next is this. And then after that is all, you know, uh, free flying. So I hope if if that happens, then you know the the U.S. Dot, I mean a yen index going up means the yen is getting weaker big time, and if that happens, then all the yen, euro yen, pound yen, they are all going going to go up. All right. So if you remember this chart here, this was actually here uh, my old chart, uh, and then uh, also if you can see the counts, if you know. Uh, triangle for the fourth wave this one two three four and I pointed that we're gonna go up to here so we are very close to that and now I have a feeling that we might just go even beyond this point so how far I will uh, you know see what it is but right now these are the calculation 1.618 1.618 of that couple of uh, uh, calculation were coming around here so you know for now it is go going very strongly to the upside, but the, you know the week is end, so I, we don't know what's going to happen. So the next week, when we open, uh, it may come down and try to you know find support here before going up. Okay, this is always always it does that. The price always does that. Not always, but most of the time. So okay, this is very strong possibility that this might happen. Okay. Uh, maybe it come down a little bit, retrace, 
find support on this area, 127 area, which is also 59.50. So let's say 59.50, 59.70, something like that, and then, or maybe continue going up. It depend on the momentum and the, the fundamental situation. But again, uh, weekend now, so everything slows down, goes back. I don't know what's happening. Let me check on the other computer how we're doing. Um, yeah, everything just holding now. Nothing is moving. I don't think that we're going to move anymore. My USD yen target was 140, which was a monthly, uh, which we already reached. Okay. All right. Okay, so now you know that, you know, yen index is back on track, going up. Uh, it got me, uh, you know, that uh, little breakdown, uh, uh, you know, break of the trend line, false break <laughs> to the downside got me uh, messed up a little bit. But, you know, it is back on track again. As we mentioned before, uh, since, you know, a few months we are following it and, you know, this nasty triangle is finished and then it start going up and all that. So all these pairs are going up. I don't have many more charts here, but let me show you the what. If yen is getting weaker, then your uh, USDX will be getting probably stronger. So how strong or what's happening on USDX? Let's go take a look. This is, um, remember this chart, the weekly chart from October 18th, that it is, again, the same uh, a pattern in place by the book so far. This is XAB is a 50% pullback. And, uh, I mean, this is not a joke. This, this pattern is either smallest, you know, you can find these things on a 5-minute, 15-minute chart. And on a weekly chart, it's right in front of you. So the first pullback is exactly 50% poke, drop back to exactly 23.6% line, then going up from this level. It went up above 61%, which is a good sign that it, is, it wants to go up if it not get stopped here and hasn't touched the 78 percent so that means we should go and touch that at least if not 88 but you know by the book we need to go touch 88 percent 88.6 percent so <clears throat> right now so you can see here uh another chart i had says that um it's, it's a beautiful morning start actually I think I sent out the chart as well. So candlestick formation on a higher, high, higher time frames like weekly and daily are very, very, very important. Okay. Uh, so this is what we have here. It's a bearish candle and a small, very small doji at the right at the TL and then a solid bullish candle engulfing last two, three, four, five candles actually. It's a very solid sign that we will be going up. And then this indicator is turning from all the way bottom to the upside, so it is a very good chance that we will go all the way to finish this pattern at point D. Uh, <clears throat> but again, you know, we will see how the fundamentals are and uh, everything else. So this is down TL is also broken. So the daily chart is is this. We were tracking this. It come down. It went came down. We said it's gonna go up to the trend line. It did. We said. It's going to come down again, but it didn't poke the trend line and went up. So this is good. You know, it is uh, going according to the weekly chart, right? That's fine. It is what's holding to this and why it's so stubborn is because of this level here. Okay. This is a very, very strong level. You can see here. Right? That's where we are getting stuck. But it broke the trend line, this trend line, right? It poked above this level, then came down and tested by the pip. It kissed this trend line from the top, the back side of it. And usually when that happened, it is just a testing. And if it doesn't come down within, uh, inside the, the triangle again, I mean, uh, the trend line again, then it will be going up, okay? So we will, but it, it is right now below this level, so it is very, you know, very, very um, dangerous. 
So we have to watch it very closely and how it's going to come up. Okay, so it was uh, A, B, C, 100%. And if that's the case, uh, I'll, I'll do my you know, analysis over the weekend uh, and then send out the charts and, and, or videos, whatever, uh, nice and clean. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Bella, everything okay? Can you hear me? Okay, just want to make sure because it's, I think it's your computer speaker. All right, so this is how the US dollar um, index is doing, and because of that, it see it, it, it's a back, back testing, right? Back testing of the TL. So this is USDX daily chart. How about what Euro USD is doing according to this chart? Let's take a look at that. It's just doing the opposite. That's all. Okay, we're supposed to go and touch this TL, the weekly TL on the Euro USD. We did. We just simply dropped from there. Bang. This is the trend line. We broke below, hit the 33 level, 33, 33. And then we went up, and you can see how nicely we are test. We already tested 38, uh, 34, 85, 35 level and the back side of this trend, uh, trend line. And now uh, two times, one this doji here, and then second time we tried, and then we're pulling back. So on that side, if this, this one, uh, it broke this trend line and testing the back side and go, trying to go up again, then Euro USD is doing the opposite, which is perfectly fine, that if the USD is going to get stronger, then this thing is going to, again, drop to the downside somewhere, unless, you know, <coughs> this pair decided to prove me wrong again. So forget about this uh, upside shot here. This is no more valid. So, and now, <coughs> if, we hold, if, we, if this area holds, we probably be coming down somewhere here. Where? Uh, draw the trend line. This is the support, right? What are these things here? Okay, <clears throat> so this is what it is, 31, is if it stays here and drop again, if it doesn't go above 35, then we're going to, this time we will come down and then break this 33, 33 and then come down to this these areas, these numbers here. And this trend line and this um, support is, you know, cutting each other here, this area. 31 is the support. So that's where we will be coming down. Um, this is because of the USDX is going to get strong. Uh, also, another pair that is um, telling us that that might happen is our weekly chart of pound USD. We've been watching it, and this thing is just too stubborn here, and then it's just, you know, like taking its time, wobbling around. It's like came down, went up, came down, trying to go up again. Three, four down. It's, it's like <clears throat> big time ranging here, right? So, um, but so far the channel is holding. That is the key. The channel and this level 62 is holding nicely. So if pound yen, because of yen getting weaker, the pound yen start going up, then it might take this thing to go up to this level around maybe 63. And also uh, pound yen is also probably going for 63. Is that the number there also? Yes, yeah, somehow it is um, 
some 63 number I remember. What is 63 here? Oh, okay. Yeah. This high is 163, right? Yeah, okay, so uh, pound probably 63 and pound yen 163. <laughs> but um, I don't think so pound USD is going to go up. If the euro USD is going to come down and um, US dollar index is going to get stronger, then, you know, it is showing that it will get strong. If it holds that uh, uh, tier, then this thing also will probably come down at least first to these areas 5827 or 5750 and then you know we take see from there that how far it goes so this is what the pound usd is doing um well any government can do that <laughs> Yeah, all the governments are in trouble. <laughs> the whole world is trouble right now. So, what can we say? Uh, another chart. I don't know if. Um, let me see. If I can. Commodity. Gold. I have a gold. Okay, this is how the gold is look like. Remember the first time I sent out the chart, the gold was here. And since then, it is nicely, it's like we A, B, C will probably come down. This was a target, so we are almost halfway to the downside. So if you like to trade gold, if the USD is going to get stronger, obviously the gold is going to be dropping and will be coming here. Okay, and the question coming in, everyone, that, you know, in maybe in next few months the government, uh, U.S. government shut down, then what's going to happen? Uh, but to be honest with you, I don't know exactly what was going to happen the, when the, you know, when I'm expecting the U.S. dollar uh, is going to get stronger, it gets weaker, and, uh, you know, vice versa. So uh, economist uh, knows better. <laughs> I'm not the one. And uh, it's very difficult to judge uh, what's going to happen in two, three months' time. I uh, rather, uh, you know, just it's very, all, you know, very good to uh, watch all these things. So what's happening? But obviously, uh, if that happen again, yeah, the U.S. dollar going to get hurt. Okay, so it might lose big time. But the problem is that uh, when that happens, this, uh, this investors uh, pull out from the stock market. When they pull out from the stock market and then when the stock market goes down, then the dollar gets stronger. So it's very confusing situation. So what really going to happen is we don't know. We will just, you know, follow the technicals and see where uh, it is going. Okay. And try to save ourselves and then take advantage. If, if right now the, you know, US dollar index showing on a weekly that it, it probably going to go up, but it can go only 38%. Right. Uh, let's say this A, B, C, and then it could go up here again, 61% uh, line, and then drop and break this trend line. Who knows? Um, candlestick formation and this and that. Yeah, fine, but you know, anything can happen. So we, but we have to stick to uh, the fact. You know, our technicals, like I just show you that um, pound Aussie chart, how calculated it is, how nice, and even this chart. I mean, it is nice and clean, very uh, calculated. Um, let me let me show you uh, something else very interested, interesting. Interesting. Um, I don't know if let me show, if I have it here. I will do it on the other computer. This mumbo jumbo here. Uh, let me see if I can. Um, and, 
what here I was doing that. But not that one, definitely. Hold on guys, just a minute. If not, then I will um, prepare to show that thing. It's all about the Fibonacci tool, how nice and clean it works. And a couple of higher time frame charts. Yes. Okay, I forgot which computer I was doing that. See, it's just a la uh, last night. But anyway, I'll, I'll find out later. Okay, okay. All right, bye, take care, and um, <clears throat> see you uh, maybe next webinar. Okay, bye. All right, so everybody else, uh, any, any question or anything out of whatever I cover? Um, Hope that you learn a little bit about this. Gertle, you, you, uh, you know, and bad, you know, same, same kind of pattern, most, more or less, you know, brother and sister, a little bit of, uh, a little bit difference in calculation. So these are very, two, you know, uh, good patterns, and, and, and market doesn't do anything else except, you know, making these patterns again and again and again, and uh, higher and smaller time frame. So it's always good to uh, learn and watch these uh, very closely. If not, then you, you'll miss something like we just missed uh, last time <laughs> this chart you know it, it was from here uh, uh, 50 percent 170 30 it went all the way to 173 no not 73 72 50 yeah? 72 30 so there's 200 pip 200 pip uh, trade very easy which you know, we lost Well, I'm not going to say lost, we just missed it. So if there is nothing else, um, no question or anything, then uh, I think um, it's time to go, right? I will make, um, you know, uh, uh, analyze the whole, uh, my, do my analysis on the indexes and all the other charts. Once I transfer uh, everything on, on these computers uh, over the weekend and then make new charts and new directions and everything. But remember one thing very important that I want to mention is that, yes, I said, I said on a Euro Yen chart, I sent out a video that it may turn from this point. Watch out, right? But before that, my chart was saying that it will go to 139, and we were going towards that direction. So we were in a bullish mode, and we were going. Now, if I send out the chart, another one that, okay, this we are probably getting to a station, and it may turn to the downside, but it don't. But once it don't, I mean, it, it can only go two ways, right, down or up. So it is already going up, and we are hitting on the bullish setups on the bullish side. But when the station comes, uh, some kind of resistance that I warned that, okay, it may turn from there and then go down because of these factors. But if that doesn't happen, then automatically the old one, the old chart, and the old direction is intact. And that's, you know, need to, when I said on, on this chart exactly, if, if on a 61%, it start coming down, but where? Let me show you another thing that how far, how do you know that the turn, even if it start dropping or, or make a turn and start dropping, but what is the boundary line that need to be broken in order to understand that, yes, we are making the turn or just a little wobble and then bounce back. So that is the key is, let me see this day here what 11 12 I'm on a 15 minute chart I want to show you something 11 12 November 12 is right here okay so notice that it, it start dropping but it went back above this 200 EMA 
right? Once it is above 200 EMA, then you get an entry here, you get an entry here, and you know, if you look at that, this is a 15 minute entry, nice entry here, see? Uh, bullish candle right here. Look at these trades, okay? So this is the key. This is the key. The 200 EMA on a 15 minute chart is a very key factor once if you have a, a uh, pattern a four hour or uh, daily or weekly and if we expecting a turn then start coming down you may short here or here but be careful of this 200 em be very careful of this 200 em unless it is out of the way the turn is not complete the turn is not a uh, solid turn it probably just gonna drop bounce from this 200 ema continue it's you see how how nicely it is bouncing back up again here, it even came down a little bit, but then here exactly from the 200 EMA. Here exactly from the 200 EMA. So these are the trades. Okay. Here, what happened here? Okay, here. You see, it bounced here, but it did, well, today, you know, it's Friday, so it's not going to do anything. But this is this is how important it is to, to notice that, you know, see, here, here, a lot of places. So the retracement usually... If you have a four hour daily chart going nicely to the upside, see this is where it makes the turn. It was down here, then if it goes up and then drop, then it's a different story, but it makes the turn here and then bounce to the upside from this, taking 200 EMA as a support, not resistance anymore. Like here, it made the resistance, give a nice beautiful setup, here also drop, right? So this is the downside. But once it goes above the 200 EMA, then it comes and finds support, like here, it's bullish. So it changes the direction, and then every time it's coming towards it, it's just a retracement. So even if, let's say, here you have a 78% level, and we're expecting a drop from here. Okay, but the danger sign is here. This is the danger boundary line. So if you find one minute or five minute setup, you take it, you break even on a 15 minute, uh, 15 pip, 18 pip, you sit on a break even and watch it. If it start, if it, it bounce and it start going up again, it will take you out, knock you out and that's it. Then start looking bullish setups again. Okay. So that isn't, even if I don't send you the turn out, that's the, uh, a chart out, that's it. You know, again, the bullish continuation is intact here. Here, so every pair you see, you watch it. I have a couple of things to explain, but I will do it on the next, next and the Fibonacci one, the one I was just discovering, not discovering, but in putting together that how you can put a weekly and, and daily fib on a five minute chart and you see how beautiful it works. Okay. So this is very important to see whenever I send out a chart that, okay, it is going, Euro Yen is going up, fine, thank you. But you know, if, it, if I say it's gonna make a turn, if it does start dropping, then you see if you can find an, an entry. But and, and even if then you find an entry and you make an entry, you sit on a break even and then watch 15 minute 200 EM, 15 minute chart. That is the turning, uh, like a boundary line. You know, you go north, above north, below south. Simple. This is how it is. Okay. I will explain it more in the uh, next video uh, with the Fibonacci thing. Okay. Okay, Sean, I will send you all these. Um, uh, I'm going to redo actually all of those and then uh, I'll do it, uh, send you. Okay, remember that you, we might be in a third of a third wave, which is the most powerful in forex market. Uh, and uh, yen index is going, and if that is the one it's making, then the next whole week is going to be going up, and um, all of these pairs going to fly. Then, all right. So um, that, and also uh, pound um, Aussie and a couple other pairs, pound USD, and, and if these are going up, then USD pairs will be coming down. And we just saw that US dollar index is getting strong, so. Also, um, Aussie index, pound index, euro index, I will cover uh, later, not at uh, the same time. But, uh, uh, yeah, my main intention for this webinar is to emphasize on those patterns 
and just watch out uh, for those patterns, you know, girdle, butterfly, and, and, and bad patterns, and their calculations. Keep drawing your fibs and see, you know, all, you all have those uh, things in there. Elliott wave, I understand that it's a little bit, uh, you know, complicated and hard for some people, but these patterns are easy. I mean, it's like, you know, few condition, B point, it just measure the, is it 38%, is it 50, 61? You know, I say if it's 50 or 38, it's going to make a bad. 61% probably butter, uh, a girdle. 78.6%, let's make a butterfly, you know. And then you look for the point C, and whenever you have that point C done, and, you you know, after that point C is done, you have a turn, start hitting that thing. It's that easy. Uh, this Oh, the webinar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is recording because um, I think, I hope, <laughs> if it is, uh, usually all of them, but yeah, if it is recorded, uh, I will, um, within an hour, I will upload it on the website so you can go see it. And all of, for all of you, this website password I changed because it went into the wrong hands and I was hitting, my email was like going crazy, you know, as every other person. So uh, I just changed it. Okay, and it is, uh, what is it? The sky is the limit. Sky is the limit is the password for that uh, webinar recording. Just go there and, and watch them and watch this one. And then e even if, if I do a live webinar, fine. If not, then I'm going to send another uh, video out and then I'll post it on that. It will be a, you know, webinar, me alone. Uh, with all the new charts and the new direction and then expectations. All right. But again, remember, even though, you know, I misfire a couple of times this week, but the thing is, especially your a pound, pound yen was nicely going. I don't have the chart right now. Probably I showed you, right? Pound yen. My old chart. Yeah. See, this is the old chart. And, uh, a little bit late, it was uh, bouncing. I said it's going to go from here, but instead, you know, it's just, little sideway movement and now all of a sudden it start you know popping to the upside so it is right on the track uh usd yen was right on the track very beautiful uh remember uh, watch out my four hour chart i mean i had like one two three four five five waves and it went exactly the same way i'm going to post that chart uh, today on the website as well so you can see Okay, good. Very good, you, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Very good. So, uh, yeah. Uh, see, the, this, this is what it is. Uh, the pound yen and, you know, daily charts, um, they, they help a lot as far as the direction. And then you have magic wave strategy to hit. And, uh, you know, 200 EMA, just watch uh, where it is, 15 minute, 200 EMA. And then, you know, if it is above, below, you know, bullish, bearish, and then, you know, if it's bearish, if the, the daily chart is showing to the upside and then you have a down move on a 15-minute chart and if it's still above the 15-minute 200 EMA, it's just a retracement. Okay. Either you trade it very carefully, make, ten, you know, 10, 15, 20 pip here, there and run or just leave it alone. You know, let it come to the, you know, to the 200 EMA and bounce from there. And once, you know, turn again to the upside, as long as the daily chart is to the upside. Okay. Even let's say like I got confused about uh, break line, a uh, uh, trend line break. Uh, and, and, but it, what happened is in Euro Yen, it came exactly to the support, horizontal support, which are very, very important. This is a huge support right here. So it came exactly to that and bounce. And I completely missed this one as well. I didn't, I made the chart. I forgot to send it out. I made it. I have it. But I completely forgot, and it was too late before I, I, I see it. So, but these horizontal levels are very important. If you break, let's say this one clean out here somewhere, then remember that whenever, maybe a two months later, three months later, whatever, whenever it's gonna come back and touch this, it's gonna bounce like a spring. That's what happened. If it doesn't test right now, then it will test later and bounce big time. That's what the price does. Horizontal levels are very, very important. All of, you know, everything, but everything works together. 
anyway, so hopefully uh, whoever needs the charts, ever, you know, Sean, I'll give you the charts and um, you know, I'll, I'll send you in the email, okay? Give me a couple hours and I'll record this. Uh, I think it's recording, so I will, uh, up, I have to first upload and then put it on my website. So I'll do that and then give you the charts. And then next week I see much clearer because the yen index is in the, on the move and uh, we will see the, how the USD is going to do. And uh, we take it from there, okay? So have a good day, good night, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming and watching. And uh, uh, if you need to watch this uh, again, uh, it will be on my website in a couple hours. The uh, password I just told you. So have a good uh, weekend. Go out there, enjoy, do some barbecue and stuff. You know, spend time with your family and then... I'm always with my family anyway, so, <laughs> all right, okay, so, um, goodbye for now, and have a great weekend.